In June 2021, we broke all barriers and did something that has never been done in Kenya. And it was, well, epic. So much so that due to overwhelming public demand, in September of this year, the unthinkable happened. We decided to do it again. We asked you to go to our website, that's urbanradio.co.ke, and register. And register you did. We got over 12,000 entries. And you told us who you would like to go with and what your idea of an epic 48 hours is. But 12,000 is a rather large number. And we needed to narrow it down to just two. So we asked you to listen out for your name on air as our presenters read out the list. Then we asked you to make some noise on social media. That narrowed it down to our semi-finalists. It was now out of our hands and the ball was squarely in your court. We asked our listeners to vote for the semi-finalists on social media. Then we tallied the votes and on the 14th of November, in the early hours of the morning, this happened. Oh, for a whole week. I love it. I love it. I love it. You can't make this stuff up. So we had sent Nisha to go and pick our first winner, Samantha Cook, as Chris Okinda called her and gave her the great news live on air. Here's what I want you to do. As I'm talking to you, go and grab your bags, walk out of your door, lock it and go to the main gate because, Samantha, you are a winner of Epic 48, the second edition, baby. <laughs> Congratulations, my darling. First runners up have, has already been picked up right now. And let me tell you, he has no idea we are going in there to get him. Well, shall we? Athman had no idea as he was talking to Chris on the line, live on air that is, that Bran Udwur was outside his door. Congratulations, you have won Epic 48! <laughs> Congratulations, my brother. Have you packed your bag? Yeah, I'm packed. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. It's an experience and a half. Yeah. Get your bags. Uh -huh. Let's leave. Okay. The journey had started. The first stop was at Urban Radio Studios for an interview with our senior presenter Chris Okinda on The Breakfast Club. Samantha was the first to arrive and our whole staff was there to welcome her in fine style. While Athman was on the road to Urban Radio, he had some thoughts on what a close contest it was. Number Samantha Cook Instagram. Hey. Hey, Samantha Cook Instagram. Hey. Hey, Samantha Cook Instagram. He finally arrived at our studios, and because we care about the boy child, he got a star's welcome as well. Happy that you're going on Epic 48 or happy to have me out of the house? Happy to, oh, 
to see me on, uh, on, uh, on MP48. On MP48? Uh, yes. Thank you, idiots. What do you Gave me a lot of those quotes, you know. I was just like, who is this guy? Hey, this Amanda will be So the first thing we did was to take our contestants to a children's home to join us in doing what we know to be right. You see, Epic 48 is all about community. It's all about us being proud of our city. It's all about us, most importantly, taking back our humanity as a people. Because right now we live in a time where people forget the important things in life. And it's all about giving back to society. And that is why the very, very first activity that we are doing as Urban Radio together with our fantastic winners, we said, you know what, let us go and give back to the society. The party then moved on to the Grand Royal Swiss Hotel for a few more surprises where they were welcomed like the stars they are. Then, it was time for them to check out their rooms. And well, let's just say that Athman knew precisely what to do with the bed. Then, it was off to the world-class dining room for a spot of lunch. Followed by a delightful visit to the world-class spa. <laughs> Soft life. Eh? Any little money I get, I enjoy myself. It was an amazing way to kick off Epic Forty Eight. But this was just the preamble. We called it pre-epic 48 because our winners had seen nothing yet. We left them just for a moment at the Grand Royal Swiss Hotel where they would spend the night. <laughs> 